All right, so I wanted to take this time to show you guys something really cool, which is called key copier. So let's begin. This is for your knowledge purposes only. I don't condone copying any other keys other than your own, but this is something really, really cool. Now, first to perform this, you actually need something called the Flipper Zero, and I am using the Momentum firmware. Now, there are a couple of firmwares out there that might have this app in there, but I'm playing around with it and switching it, so I am using Momentum firmware. If you do have the Momentum firmware installed, all you have to do is just head over to apps, scroll down over to tools and then head over to key copier. Now you could do two forms of keys on this. You could actually use something called a quick set or something called a suite up. Now to head over to config, you could actually change those out either to KW1, a C4 or whatnot. Now to get this working, as you can see, all you have to do is just line up your key to the bottom right over here into the line. And then you just push down on whatever you need. And this will basically give you the key code to what you're looking for. So in this case, this key, which I don't even know what it belongs to anymore, is 32354. And that signifies with the grooves in the key itself. So with this code itself, you can actually take this to a locksmith or whatever to get this key made using that key code. Same goes for one of these keys. If I was to do the same thing to this uh, suite of key, you'll find that the numbers are the same as what would come up later on. What's also really cool about this is if you head back, you can hit save and then save it to whatever you want. So you will still have this key in the future. Now, what do I do with this key code? Like I said, you could either give it to a locksmith or if you have a 3D printer, you can head over to Thingiverse, which I'll leave a link down in the description below for that. There's this uh, thing called duplicating house keys and it actually gives you the KW1 or SC1 or whatever it is. And it has the actual SCAD file. So I'll leave a link down in the description below for this, but what you need to do now is actually download the KW1, which is the one we got. And as you can see, I already did download it once and install a program called OpenSCAD and OpenSCAD will open that file for you. And it'll look something similar to this. Now, this is a programmer's version of CAD. So if you are very good at programming, you could use this. I've actually used this for quite some time before I learned how to use FreeCAD because it was easier for me to understand how to translate stuff or add stuff or rotate stuff using this. Anyway, if you head all the way to the bottom, there's these five numbers, which is the key code that we need. Now, what we had originally was three, two, three, five, four. And now if I render it, you're gonna see this right here. This is the exact key that I have. Now with this rendered out, I could actually file and export this to an STL and then transfer this over to my 3D printer and have that 3D print this key. And then this is ultimately what you would see at the end. And as you can tell, it's identical just by putting in the key code. If I put this on top, you could see that everything is like just identical. Now, obviously I don't know what this key goes to, probably an old lock of some sort that I had left around, but I did try this with my house keys before, obviously not this one, but it does work after you 3D print it. But the only problem is that this is so flimsy that I would say it would work one or two times before this would actually break. So I wouldn't rely on the 3D printed version. Better off getting a clone of this somewhere at like Home Depot to copy the grooves out, or like I said, a locksmith to get the key made out into metal. But with that being said, cloning a key using the Flipper Zero and then the 3D printer actually wasn't hard at all. Especially if you got an image of a key, like now I have a physical key that I could just do this, but if you got an image of a key, you could actually just take that image, cut it out into shape and figure out what the grooves are and then get a clone of that key as well. But then again, long story short, this is for your knowledge purposes only. Just be careful that this is possible. So you might want to keep your keys hidden. And again, I don't condone doing this other than to your own house keys or whatever, because you need a clone of it or you want to do some special design to your 3D printed key or something. But otherwise, that is it. If you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be up. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.